Hey ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Now today is a really special day because I'm gonna be showing you my garage. It's gonna be like a GTA 5 garage tour and I thought about showing you all of my cars. So yeah, let's go. Alright, we're finally here. So yeah, let's go. So basically, this is the Eclipse Tower. I bought it for $1,100,000. And it's got a garage and you can park 10 cars in it. So yeah, let's go. Boom! There you go guys. So this is my garage. Spent about, I don't know, 10 to 20 million on this. So basically this is the adder. I bought it for 1 million but I spent another 1 million dollars on customizing it. So yeah, I'm going to show you how it looks like outside and the lights and the ki neon kits on it. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, it's got green lights from under the car. It's a really fast car, it goes 230 miles per hour, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this car cost me a lot, about $3 million. So yeah, it's worth it. Alright, moving on, my next car that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Banshee. Alright, this car, one second. Alright guys, this car is a low rider. It cost me $105,000, but I, on customizing it, it cost me about, I don't know, $500,000 to a million dollars. No. Alright, this is the T2. No. Can you please, like, point? Nah, this is not what I'm trying to do. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, anyways, guys, you know what I mean. Um, I want to, this is the T20, it's the most expensive car in the game, it costs $2,200,000, spent another million on customizing it, so yeah, this is a bad boy, like, you should buy it and try it out, since it's an amazing car, it's not the fastest, but it's the most expensive car. Um, alright, moving on, I still do not know the difference between this car and the Dinka, I still call it the Dinka. Uh, I bought it for about $185,000, correct me if I'm wrong. Nothing much to customize since it's already got the design on it and the colors on it. But I customized its tires and its wheels and made it bu bulletproof tires. So yeah, that still counts as an upgrade. Alright, now moving on. Um, Alright, now this is a low rider that I've spent two million dollars on this is this I still didn't even speak about its cost this low rider cost me two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and I've spent two million on customizing it everything hydraulics its engine every single thing I, ne I did not leave anything out it this car sells for about I don't know nine hundred and fifty one thousand dollars so yeah, it's a really good car. You should try it out. It's one of the fanciest, fanciest cars in the game, I guess. I spent a lot of uh, spent. A All right, moving on. This is the Coroma. All right, this is a bulletproof car. So basically, um, no one can kill you from inside unless that that person shoots you from that when that hole that as you can see like you can see from it while you're driving that's the only place where they can kill you from but it's not an insurgent so another disadvantage one rpg bullet may explode the car so yeah it's just bulletproof but it cost me five hundred thousand and another three hundred thousand about three hundred thousand customizing all right this is the Halloween car. I keep on forgetting its name. Oh, the Franken stage. How can I forget its name? This car came up in the Halloween. It looks really nice. It looks sick. It looks like an old car. Uh, but old but gold, you know. Alright, moving on. This is the Zintorno. From, in my opinion, this is the best looking car in the game. Although it's not the fastest or the most expensive, it's the best looking car. It's the fastest car, in my opinion. 
it's a really good car. It's pretty fast, to be honest. Like, m my opinion, I feel as if it's the fastest car while I'm driving it, when it's not. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a good-looking car. Alright, guys, so I'm going to be showing you how it looks like outside, and while I'm driving it, so you can see the lights and stuff, because this car is it, it's worth buying $725,000. It's not that expensive. Alright, so as you can see, it's a really fast car. Yeah. It looks, it looks beautiful, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to add smoke. I'm gonna make, oh. Guys, don't judge, I'm a really good driver. Alright, uh, going back in. Alright, um, now the car that I'm gonna be showing you guys is the Dinka. Alright, this is actually called the Denka, but I keep on mixing it up with the other orange car. I don't know, but this is the Denka, bought it for $350,000. Nothing much to customize except the bullet, uh, the tires, which I made a bulletproof. So yeah, as you can see, it looks amazing, the design is amazing. And finally, moving on to the fastest car in the game, the Pegasi Osiris. This car is literally goes 230 miles per hour it's the fastest car in the whole game like it's amazing you guys should buy it it's it's a um it's less expensive than the t20 it's one million nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars but it's still expensive but oh no i'm a good driver right i'm a good driver just don't judge uh all right so as you can see it's super fast fastest car in the game you guys should try it out and buy it uh no, the, guys, alright, I'm a good, I'm a good driver, alright, just don't judge, I'm just making a video, alright, and I'm going on top speed, see, oh, alright, so as I was saying, as you can see, it's a really, really fast car, <sighs> okay, it's a really, really fast car, fastest car in the game, you should try it, so yeah, Alright guys, so that's it for today. I know it wasn't a long video. I'm gonna be uploading soon. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.